and welcome to my channel, the place for parents who want better sleep from their little ones. We have got the strategies for you. So this episode is all about the spring clock change where the clocks go forward an hour. We are going to recap my three preferred approaches that I believe can help any one of you to get your little ones sleeping soundly through this clock change. And we're gonna recap those and help you get prepared for the upcoming clock change. So stick around, let's make a plan. Right, so the first approach to managing this clock change that I went through with you is the gradual approach. Now, this approach is where you are going to move bedtime earlier by 15 minutes each night starting on the Wednesday. The clocks change on the last Sunday of the month in the night. So Wednesday night, we go 15 minutes earlier than usual. Thursday night, another 15 minutes, so we're 30 minutes earlier than usual. On Friday night, we're going to move another 15 minutes, so we'll be 45 minutes earlier than usual bedtime. That way, by Saturday night, we are that last 15 minutes earlier, so we are a whole hour earlier than the usual bedtime. If bedtime is normally, or sleep time is normally 7 p.m., that means that we're gonna move that in 15 minute increments until we are at 6 p.m. Okay, so this is the gradual approach. Now what this means is by Saturday night, your little one goes to bed a whole hour earlier than normal, but they haven't really felt that great big drastic jump in change of bedtime meaning they can sleep for their usual number of hours through the night, but wake up at their usual wake up time because the clocks will have moved during the night on that Saturday night into Sunday. The gradual approach is definitely the best way to go if you have a younger baby or a young child who's very sensitive to small things. If, if they notice every little difference, if there's somebody who notices difference in feel, environment, sound, little time changes, then this is gonna be the right approach for them. Big change doesn't work for them. If you have a slightly older one or a really easygoing baby who's just really quite flexible, maybe they're not quite so rigid in their timings and can manage a bigger difference without it really noticing, then you might wanna take one of the next two approaches. So the second one is to meet in the middle. It's a half an hour difference. So instead of going to bed at your usual time of let's say 7 p.m., we're gonna go earlier by 30 minutes at 6.30 p.m. on the Saturday night. So you just change nothing up until Saturday night. 30 minutes, we're gonna meet in the middle with the clock change. And that way the night sleep is gonna be taking us roughly to the same wake up time in the morning with that change of time in the night just kind of meeting halfway. It's good for those who, you know, the whole hour earlier to bed would be too much, but they don't really need those tiny little changes each night from Wednesday. And then the third option is the all-in-one go. One fell sweep. We just move bedtime earlier by one hour on Saturday night so that they sleep for their normal number of hours and wake up at the new time on Sunday. It's, it's as simple as that, it's a whole hour earlier, but it's really quite tricky to do that with a child who is just not tired an hour earlier. So this is gonna work great for somebody who's overtired, who's you know really ready for a sleep and could quite easily go to bed an hour earlier. I bet a lot of you could do that. <laughs> but if you have a little one who's just, you know, maybe they're still having a nap during the day or they're just not going to be tired enough to go to bed a whole hour earlier, especially little ones that are taking lots of naps still, they're probably not gonna be ready to move bedtime by a whole hour earlier, um, and therefore you're gonna want more of a gradual approach. It's very different to the autumn clock change when we move the bedtime later because it's a lot easier to keep yourself awake longer or to keep a little one awake longer than it is to make somebody tired sooner. That's the big difference. So three options for you there, or you know, you can you can tweak it to fit your child. Maybe you wanna do 30 minutes earlier on Friday and then the whole hour earlier on the Saturday. But on the whole, this is um, a, a, an array of ways that could help your little one to adjust to that time change a bit more smoothly. Now bear in mind, it can take up to a week to adjust anyway to something as small as a one hour clock change. So give them some time to adjust into that new routine. And on the Sunday, I highly recommend that you just get into that new time straight away. Don't say things like, oh, well, yeah, but to be fair, body clock thinks it's this time. 
that doesn't help. Just go with the new time, put your meal times in on the new time, bedtime routine at the new time, and they will soon adjust and so will you. So are you ready and are you prepared for the clock change that's coming up really soon? Make sure you do things like um, get that routine um, in place to accommodate the change. So if you are going for the gradual approach, you do need to be home a little bit earlier in the evenings in order to bring all these things a bit earlier, to have meal times a bit earlier. So consider what you need to set up in your routine and your environment to help you to make these changes. Because if you are starting the Wednesday before, you need to be ready. You need to know what you're doing, be ready to execute that plan. I hope this has been helpful and I hope the clock change goes smoothly for you. I will talk to you in the next episode where I'm gonna help you overcome the aftermath of the clock change and get things nice and back on track. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.